We just saw how to convert from a percent to a fraction, which is just putting it over 100. We saw how to go from a percent to a decimal, and that's just by moving the decimal point. Well, what if I want to go backwards, though? What if I want to write a decimal as a percent? Okay. So if I gave you a decimal, and I say 0.34, what is that as a percent? This guy is 34%. Because when I had the percent before, I'd move the decimal two places to the left. Now that I have the decimal, I'm going to move it two places to the right. And here's the easy way to remember this. Okay, the percent, the percent looks larger than the decimal. So when you're doing this, the percent is always going to look larger than the decimal equivalent. So if I say 0 0.15, what is the percent? That's 15 percent. Okay. What about 0 0.039? What is it? You mean 3.9 percent. If you don't put the percent symbol, then you're not going to be right. Okay. Okay. What if I have 1.56? This is 156%. Please understand that 1.56 is not 156. It's 156%. Okay? You have to make sure that you write things correctly. Okay? Now, just to refresh you, as I go from a percent to a decimal, So 68% is what is a decimal? 0 .68%. At 0.68, there's no percent there. Remember, the percent is going to look larger than the decimal. The percent carries the percent symbol. The decimal carries the decimal. There's no percent there. 7.2%. Is what is a decimal? No. The percent is supposed to look larger than the decimal. So which way does the decimal have to go here? How did it go here? It went two places to the left. So what about this guy? Right. Or if I have 250%, what is that? Just 2.5, right? You can say 2.50, but 2.5 is good enough. Well, what if I took these same numbers and I said, you know what? I want to go from the percent to the fraction. So how do I go from 68% to a fraction? What was that? Right, you, you make the literal translation here. It's 68 per cent, 68 per 100. You make it like that. But we do want to make sure that any time we have fractions that we do what with them? Reduce them always, or just when I just when you feel like it. Always. always and forever, right? So how does this reduce? Anybody at all? 
You know that it can at least reduce by what? Two. Two, so that gives you what? 34 over 50. Can I reduce this again? Yes. To what? Two. How much? Divide by two. Oh, divide by another common factor of two, so that gives you what on the numerator? 17. Can I reduce 17 to 25 any further? No, no. no so this guy's good. So to go from a percent to a fraction, you just make it over 100, and then you reduce. <coughs> okay. Well, what about the 7.2%? This one's going to be a little bit trickier. How would I rewrite that guy? What? Oh, oh, you could do that. I didn't think about doing it as a mixed number. So let's let's hold on to that, um, and let's just do it this way for right now. So 7.2 over 100, because that's what it means per 100, right? Okay. Now, I don't like having this decimal up here, right? So easy way to fix this is that you can multiply top and bottom times a factor of 10. And that makes this a little bit easier because it makes it a whole number. It makes this 72 over 1,000. How can I reduce 72 over 1,000? If you don't know, start small. Reduce by 2, so you get 36 over 500. Can I reduce that guy? Another common factor of two, so you get what? Eighteen over two fifty. Am I done? No. Why not, Rondo? What else do I have in common? Two. <laughs> Another common factor of two. So that gives you what? Nine and Half of 250 is 125. You guys know this, right? You're going bargain shopping. You're going to the clearance section. What's half of 250? It's about 25. Right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're just lying to me when you say you go bargain shopping. You go bargain shop shopping, Tim? No? You're a full price kind of man, aren't you? <laughs> That's right on, right? So you know what? Some people are banking in such a way they can do that, so more power to you. I usually wait till the styles are about a decade old <laughs> and then pick them up. It seems to work out well for me. I like how you laugh like he can't be serious, but <laughs> I know you are. And see this is where I'm trying very hard to rein it in and not do the well, yeah, well, I'm rubber and you're glue. Well, whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Because I bet that would be inappropriate for me to say that to a student. So I didn't say that. How would you write 250%? When you have 250 over 100? And how do you reduce this guy? First, divide by 10. Of course, understand, when I do this to divide by 10, I'm just dividing by 10. I'm not just like crossing out numbers that are the same. So it's really 25 over 10, and how can you reduce 25 and 10? Reduce by 5, and you have what? 5 and 2, right? So 250%. Which is 250 to 100 is the same as the reduced fraction of 5 over 2, or if you were to look at this as a ratio, 5 to 2. Okay? Are you with me on this? So all I have to do is simplify, and we're happy. <laughs>